Hi and welcome to Fresh from my garden. Today we are going to be planting some summer flowering plants and I am also going to share a garden update on some recently purchased flowering plants and transplanted plants from our garden. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to see what all we do in our garden and also please do watch this video right till the end to see what all we are planting in our garden today. I have a package of seeds that I purchased online on Amazon and this was a combo offer of 30 different varieties of flowers in one package. So it was a really good deal and there were some flowers that I wanted to try planting this year like petunia, pansies, dianthus and few other varieties. So this was a really good deal and hoping that it will germinate well. I'm going to share a link in the description if any of you want to purchase this online. These are all the flowering varieties that are in this package. We have pansies and petunias, dianthus, daisy, marigolds, verbenas, cosmos, poppies, gaznia and so many more. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to go and we have some garden soil, compost and coco peat mixture that we're going to add to few pots today. And I don't have a lot of pots so I have some pots here in different sizes and I'm going to be planting a few of them that I have selected and kept ready for today's planting. I've been seeing a lot of petunias in hanging baskets and I've been wanting to grow this for a very long time. So I've selected petunias, pansies, nasturtium and calendula, African marigold and a bunch of flowering seeds for today's planting and the rest of them I'm going to be planting over the week. Here I have a couple of regular hanging baskets with small other containers and a three level hanging basket that you can see here in orange, white and green. So all these pots have a fresh potting mix that combines coco peat with some compost and regular garden soil in them. In Bangalore where we live, we currently have really hot weather conditions and it also rained in between for a few days so it's really the best weather to start our summer flowers and I also have some summer flowers that have already been planted in the month of March and some of them are starting to bloom or the plants have grown really well and getting ready to bloom so I'm going to share that update once I'm done planting all these seeds in the garden Whenever you plant a lot of seeds at the same time, make sure to label them because it's very easy for us to forget what we have planted and sometimes we go back to the same pot and plant something else, not remembering if we had already planted some seeds in it. So now I always make it a point to add a popsicle stick with the name of the flower or the seed in it and here in some of the pots I have placed the package of the seeds because the package just contained a few seeds and I'm going to throw it out anyway so instead I just fold them to a thicker piece of paper and insert it into the container so that I know what flower is going to be growing in that container. As I shared with you when I opened the package I got 30 different varieties of flowering seeds and today I'm just going to be planting 10 or 12 of them because I don't have enough pots ready for them to be planted in and over the week I'm going to be planting the rest of them and also planting some of them in a seed tray later on in the day. Now once these are all planted and they are watered it should be kept in a spot where it receives a lot of bright light but not direct sunlight so under a tree would be a perfect spot. As promised in the beginning of the video, I am sharing some of the flowers from our garden that were recently purchased, planted or transplanted. So these are some verbenas I have in a few colors that we purchased last month 
when we took a trip to the nursery and they are planted in two rectangle pots and they are doing really well and flowering regularly here we have some rain lilies that we transplanted into the ground we had them in rectangle pots but we needed to do some landscaping and along with some turtle vine we've planted these rain lilies these are our celosia plants that i've grown from seed and if you have watched a video previously i had shown a tire planter in which we were planting some celosia plants and once that plant went to seed i used those seeds to grow a new bunch of plants and along with them i have some balsam and marigold as well planted in few containers and this is the french marigold variety i have another rectangle pot here in which also i had planted some balsam seeds and they are looking really healthy and hope they are going to flower soon this is a bleeding heart plant which was potted in a container but it wasn't doing so well in the container so we decided to transplant it into the ground and now it has lots of blooms a beautiful cana in blooms that we got from bulbs from one of our neighbors we have a few colors of cana lilies this one is the yellow and we also have the orange and red which is currently not in bloom but i'll share a picture and this is the amaryllis lily that i started from bulbs a few months back and these are bulbs that i got from my parents garden and it is starting to bloom now we have some butterfly pea flowers that are growing in our garden that were recently purchased and these beautiful vines produce a lot of flowers every day and they are so gorgeous and now we have the dwarf morning glory or the sky blue cluster vine that has these beautiful blue colored flowers that are growing in a hanging pot in our garden so this is the update from our garden on some of the flowering plants and i'll keep you posted on the germination rate on the other plants that i sowed today hope you liked today's garden update video please keep watching our channel for more updates from our garden do support this channel by subscribing and watching our videos regularly thanks for watching fresh from my garden